Hey guys, Dan here. Uh, tonight we are going to be, this is a double header recording night. I just did the Russian 91%. That will be edited later. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and build the Omega. Uh, this is the Omega Dripper. Okay, the thing that's wild about this thing is the air holes on this are huge. Okay, now I have a Patriot that has some air holes that are drilled out rather large, but the Omega is actually, I think, just a little bit bigger air hole uh, when lined up properly. But regardless, I can tell you already, this thing's gonna be a cloud machine. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the cap here. Okay, you've got three air holes that come stock built into your cap. And so you can set this up. You've got your two air holes in your walls there. And then you just set it up. You line up either for dual air holes, okay? Or you can turn it and line it up for just, you know, single coil air holes. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right into this. Uh, some people have been talking about how the Omega is a little bit funky to build because it does have those walls. So we're gonna go ahead and address that now and build this out. Uh, because uh, I believe that uh, there's a group buy on these that just wrapped. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our screwdriver and we're going to unscrew these posts here. Now, this has no center post holes in it. Everything's going to be right there on the actual screws themselves, wrapping the wire around the screws. Okay, so I'm going to unscrew those just a little bit more. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this as micro coils. We're not going to do nano coils on this one. We're going to do micro coils. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do 26 gauge. This One of the things I like to do with my wire is I like to torch it. I like to torch it because it makes it less springy. And I'm just going to put it right at the tip of that blue flame and just let it heat up. And you can see the, coil, the wire is bending as I do this. Just getting some of that springiness out of there. And we're just going to take this, leave a little bit of a lead on there so we can wrap it around that post. And just bring it straight up. Bring it down right along that lead. And just as we wrap it, just go nice and slow so we can keep those coils nice and tight. And we're gonna clip our wire there, all right? And now we're gonna go right in for the, the wrap on here, all right? So first, I'm gonna wrap, I'm gonna let this screwdriver sit flat on this wall and that's just going to keep it stable and make it easier to work with okay I'm going to go ahead and wrap this negative right here okay and then I'm going to take the positive and I'm going to wrap that around as well I'm just gonna make that as a nice U uh, coming around the edge of that. I'm gonna screw this post down just to get that out of the way a little bit. And I'm using my screwdriver here to pull that wire around the post. All right. Now you can see we've got our wire on there. Okay, we've got our coil on there. Okay. And one of the things that I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this coil down, but I'm going to wait until we put the other coil on there. Uh, that way it's going to hold nice and firm. Now we've got our second coil here, and we're going to do the same thing. Okay, We're going to lay our screwdriver down flat on the base and just slide this around so that we can wrap our negative post here. Okay, just gonna make a little L with that. 
Okay, and just tighten it right down. Bring this around a little bit more, lift it up over that center. And then I'm going to bring this around. Let me screw that down so it's a little more sturdy there. And now I'm just going to r tighten the whole thing down. Slide that out. Slide this in here to bring that back a little bit and bring it on down. Okay. okay, so now I've got everything in there. I'm going to clip my leads. Okay. Now I'm going to take my screwdriver and pull these coils down so they're sitting uh, down in front of the airflow coil, the air holes. Right? So you can see I just pulled that down. Okay, You can see this one is still sitting up. You can see that one. This one here has been pushed down, so it's down in the base there. We're going to do the same thing on this one. Okay. Just going to tighten those coils up. And I'm going to come in from the other side. Okay, now when I do that from this side, I'm going to move the whole thing over to the center a little bit. And then I'm going to go in from this side and just pull it right down a little bit. Okay, now we've got that. Now let's see our ohms. And then 0.4 ohms. All right, and let's see what we get. All right, and they are heating up nice and evenly. Okay, so now we're going to take our cotton here, okay, and we're going to get a nice little roll going, just like we did in the Russian. Now here's the trick to this, okay? We've got our coils pushed down. We could try to go in from here, but what I'm going to do is go in from the air hole. And then I'm going to take my tweezers, grab it from the other end of the coil, and pull it through. Look at that. Boom. Okay. And we'll just pull it till it's in there well. Now here's the cool thing. We're going to go ahead and clip this off right here. Okay. I'm going to take my tweezers here and I'm going to pull it through. Okay. I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm going to pull it through that air hole. All right. So now it's not still through that air hole. I'll bring it around that post right there. So now we're going to have a nice circle there. Now I'm going to leave this over here because we're going to thread this one before, okay, before, I'm going to pull this down a little bit more, okay, okay, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So when that comes around, that's going to tell us where to clip this. Now I'll take my coil. I'm going to pull this through here a little bit. There we go. We're going to take our clippers and clip this off. And put that down in there. Okay. Take our clippers here. And 
put that down in there. And there we have it. We've got our coil belt. We've got our wick installed. We've got our coils in there. Now let's take some juice. Let's see what we're going to do. You know what? Let's try something new today. Let's try, uh, we're going to go with Congo. Okay, this is a, uh, I, this has been steeping since November 24th. This will be the first that I've tried this. This is a uh, juice from Alpha Vape in correlation with the vape unit. Uh, Andy Hahn and his boys over there. Okay, and drip a little in there, get those coils nice and wet. We'll go ahead and line up our air holes because we've got dual coil. Lay that down. Okay. Got a nice little drip tip here. Uh, quick note, I wouldn't spin it real quick when you're putting it on there if it's full of juice. Just got juice everywhere. Those are some massive air holes. All right, guys. Here we go. First bait. <laughs> it's a little hard. That's it. Omega. Mm. Omega dripper. 